Mort. This game. Oh. This is. What? Oh, there it is. The 
body left. Seems like it skipped the whole way into whatever this room is. So, and another question is, are these weird looking things on the wall made by children? Because that seems like a weird thing to make. And these animatronics, what are they? The originals or something? And can we also talk about the fact that their door is open so they just walk out of it? Oh, no, I have footsteps. Oh, my! Oh, there. You're oddly close to the camera, I see. Very oddly close. So then, what about the hallway? Can I see you move in the hallway? I'd like to see it, but... Flashlight is limited. I've already wasted like half the battery, half of the night. Wait a second, hold on. I'm trying to read that without draining the battery. Let's rock. Forty times you ready. The other ones, it looks like this is what's beat. Also, we didn't talk about the smudges that are on the wall. And you're telling me this place is for kids. I know something is wrong with the employees. Or whoever made this place. Well, clearly this was a ride nightmares, which is something that I would appreciate, but I'm aware that this is for- And what is that thing right there? If this is a place for kids, then what is this? Hopefully the phone guy, whatever that guy thinks he is, will answer. It feels weird, with all of these animatronics laying around this small looking building. At least to me it looks small, I don't know. Maybe I'm just confused to different places. So far, no other suspicious activities to go on, other than the fact that the music box is not cooperating with it. What else is in this room? See those weird little, weird little children's drawings on my right? Not sure what that has to say. What has to What that has to say? Because this is just a weird restaurant filled with weird animatronics meant to fuel your nightmares. Clearly, it's not, it's pretty obvious. Just look at this. Oh! Well, now they're all gone. Oh, hi! You look weird. What the? Hello? I don't know how Beyond's was up here before. Oh, the. Oh, the rabbit moved. Alright, that's. Oh, the bear moved. I thought it was gonna be over here, but I guess not. So, the dangerous spots are in front of me and to my sides. But that is directly near my side. Actually, question why is there a vent attached to a room? Like, and why is that vent big enough for an animatronic to crawl? Like, is anyone gonna think about that? I mean, I know this is a video game, but technically speaking, oh. Whatever that is, 
second night coming. So, uh, Okay, 
This is, this is just getting really weird. Like, what is going on at this point? Oh, hey. You, you get out of here. You... I can't even tell what this freak is about. He keeps appearing in my office. Whoa. That's it. That was definite teleportation because the bunny just instantly popped up. Oh, hey! Mr. Mr. Brown Bear, whatever you are, I think I need to throw down my mask. Oh! I was thinking of doing that, but I guess he did it for me. Okay, so everything seems secure so far. Let me see. Okay, never mind. Not everything's secure. The bunny is still, or whatever the thing is that to me. Is it a bunny or is it something else? Because it looks like a bunny, but it's in my back. Acting like a weird. Oh, 
get through it. Alright. So to be honest with you guys, there's actually not really that much going on. Because, um, there's a little- it's- It's more that this game kind of just throws the same stuff at you. So that's why I'm kind of just trying to sit through this and trying to survive with this madness. Can I get some- can I get forced out? Where everything's kind of just defeated in some way, so... I know you may seem like you guys don't know what I'm talking about, but that's kind of what I do. I usually like to talk about things that no one will understand. So that way I can hide things for you guys. 5 a.m. We're almost done with the night. Almost to the point where we can head on to the fifth night and figure out what happens. Now they're both in my bed. Something crawled in my bed. That's